All right. So now we conclude uh, the third episode of Day 419. And you know what? Looks like Jenna was right. You know, a lot of the stuff that she was worried about with Nash and Andre seems to be correct. They uh, were willing to back down, um, especially since she's already on the process of leaving. You know, what do they lose? Uh, someone like Rockland steps up. You know, that's in this day and age... That's a common thing, unfortunately, and Jenna's seen way too much of it. Um, we get into more about some of the stuff she's seen in some of the later materials, um, such as Ten Months in Hell. Um, but we, uh, you know, we start to see it looks like she was on the money on that. Um, we also start to see some of the stuff that she has survived. We see some of the images of New York burning. We see some of the uh, elements of the riots that occurred. So we're really getting a feel for, you know, what, what was going through Jenna's mind and, and why was she worried about it and how is this occurring. Um, and, you know, Rockland is one of these characters that you can tell. Before the fall, he would have been someone who would have been middle management um, in some crime cartel. He would have been someone who took orders. He wouldn't try stepping out on his own, but now he's in a situation where he doesn't have someone he reports to. And he sees an opening and he takes it. And uh, so the question then becomes, how is Jenna going to survive? Does she survive um, uh, with being kidnapped? You know, what are the next step with that? So more to come as we get closer. Next week is the series finale of Day 419. So, you won't want to miss that. <laughs>